Yo YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. And just for a minute, let's just take it back and imagine it's 1991. We're playing Street Fighter 2 for the first time ever in the arcade. Now this thing blew my mind. It was the thing what made me fall in love with gaming and it was the thing what also made me fall in love with fighting games and one of the biggest fighting game franchises of all time. So when I found out this thing was coming out for my little old Commodore 64 back at home in 1992, well, I was pretty excited. And then I got this. <laughs> Street Fighter 2. In 1993 Capcom finally decided to bring it out to the home console systems after the SNES. Originally it then came to the Mega Drive and wow was I blown away. But one problem, you only had three button controller on the Mega Drive. So they even designed a six button controller just for the Mega Drive system. So recently when I decided to fire up my Mega Drive Mini and found out yet again we only had controllers with three buttons. I went trolling the internet, hit Amazon up. So Sega have officially re-released a six button controller for the Mega Drive Mini. Now this thing does come available in black. Uh, it also comes available wired or wireless. Now this thing also works for PC, Mac, Steam, PlayStation 3 and Switch. Switch I'm actually gonna give it a trial on as well because I think that the D-pad on the Switch controllers isn't great for playing Street Fighter. So it'd be good to see how this thing handles it on there. Uh, I'll leave a link to the product in the description below. Uh, you can also read, obviously, what other people think about it on Amazon before you buy. So without further ado, let's test this bad boy out and play some Street Fighter 2 on the Mega Drive. Okay, let's go. Here she is. <laughs> Little old Kenneth, try out the uh, dragon punches on the uh, sick button pad. Come on, Chunners. Oh, the fireballs come out easy on the pad. See what the old uh, dragon punch is like. Boy, the pad feels good. Very responsive. Oh, the moves come out nice. We're remembering the little combos. Let's go, Bison. Yo, 
Lock it down! Completed! So after a few hours gameplay, I would have to say I'm pretty impressed with this pad. Yes, don't get me wrong, it feels a little plasticky. But then again, so did the others uh, from the early 90s. So it's got that real retro nostalgia feel to it. Obviously, your new age kids, what used to playing on an Xbox or a PlayStation pad, are probably going to think, what the hell is this piece of crap? But for me, when you're playing a Mega Drive Mini, you just cannot beat this pad. You've got the six buttons for Street Fighter, which makes it a must. Uh, I even think the D-pad is a little bit better than what the original one used to be. It, it just feels so responsive. It's really easy to pop the moves out. Uh, this one, like I said, is the clear blue one. You can't really see it here in the video. Uh, although it is nice that you can see like the circuit board inside and things like that. Again, the original black one is also available wired or wireless. But for anyone who really wants to go down, you know, a, a trip down memory lane, this thing is a must really. It's brilliant. As I said, I will leave a link in the description below for the product. Uh, as I say, you can read other people's reviews on them uh, on the Amazon site, see what you think before you buy. Uh, and that was a trip down memory lane, that's Street Fighter 2 on the Mega Drive. Well, albeit the Mega Drive Mini. See you in the next video, guys. Stay safe.